Welcome back to a new episode here in Suave. In today's episode, as you have seen it in the intro, I'm gonna show you how you can quickly make a glitch title or a glitch effect actually that you can use pretty much on anything like in titles, logos, images, even videos if you want. So let me just show you right away real quick. The first thing that you need is a displacement map or like a glitch image. You can do that same thing on Photoshop or GIMP or any other software. You can just draw them yourself if you want. Or we can go to our good friend Google and you just type displacement map or displacement map glitch or whatever you want. You just any like distortion you can use that too. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. And then you simply just save the image that you want, that you like to use, and then you import it into DaVinci, and then we are ready to start. So let me just go ahead and create a new fusion composition so I can show you how to do this cool effect. That's pretty popular, I guess. Uh, it's always popular because it's, I don't know, everybody always likes to use it. Anyways, all right, we're gonna start and we're gonna make this transparent just because I like to work it like this sometimes. And the first thing that we need is a merge node, just that, and then we're gonna use another text node. Then we can go ahead and select whichever type of font that you like. Let me just choose, I'm gonna choose one that I downloaded a little bit, a little bit ago, which was, I think it was, I can't remember, I think it's Congruency 3D. I like this one and I've used it in a couple of things. So we're gonna do that and we're gonna connect it to our merge node and we're gonna make it big, like that. The next thing that we need to do is we need to go ahead and open our selection tools, pressing Ctrl M, that's what I'm used to do. You can also do Shift M if you want. And we're gonna find a displace node. What this is gonna do is that it's gonna allow you to put these, uh, use an image here and use that image as a base over on this one to displace and affect different settings. So we're gonna go ahead and select, let's select this displacement that we have here and we simply connect it to our displacement node. You can see already it sort of affects it a little bit because as it said at one, at 0 0.1, 0 0.1, I'm sorry. You can also play around with these if you have one that's colored. You can play around with these settings if it has many colors because these settings, it's what they do is that they select this channel, the red channel or the green channel and use that as a, as the base to open to do this effect, right? And then you can move these around and you will see the effect already happening. And this is the radial type. You can choose the radial or the XY for the actual glitch effects. You might want to do XY because that allows you to select it and makes it look like more like an actual glitch effect. All right, so what we're gonna do is, you can also add a transform node here. And if you move these displays here, let's see, we're gonna see it right there. You can also select the transform node and move it around if you have, if you want to do so. You don't have to, but you can if you want. Anyways, so we're gonna go here to the displace node and that's what we're gonna what we're gonna use to animate our text. We're gonna select Luma and both of these, I think. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. And then we're gonna create a first keyframe, which is gonna be right here at frame 10, and I'll tell you why at frame 10 in a little bit. So we're gonna create a frame like that at zero. And we're gonna move these how, however we want. And we can go as many, the shorter the frames, the faster the glitch effect is going to be. And the longer it's gonna, as, a, as you already know, the longer the, the distance, the farther away it is, the longer it's gonna take to do that animation, right? You can also play with the offset if you wish. It basically just moves the actual Y refraction here. Um, yeah okay so once you have that you can also play around with all these different settings this spread setting makes it a little bit more i guess you could say liquid it looks like a liquid effect but yeah and then with the light power what this does is it basically just brings up this image that you have here 
and you can do that if you want but it will look a little bit weird so we will not do that the light angle it doesn't really affect it if you don't have the light power on so you you can just leave it as is you can also go ahead and add a motion blur to it if you like i like to put it at 130 shutter angle and then we got ourselves our glitch effect let's let's look at it let me just put it in one screen right here oh and i forgot to put it back to normal so we're gonna go back to the displays node here and we're gonna select zero and then zero again and that's gonna bring our text back to normal and one thing since it will be weird to have our text start like this what we can do is we can animate our text and we're gonna go here to the transform section and not the pivot point oops not that and we can play around with different settings we can play around with the shear and these two you can add these to make your your glitch effect even more um impactful i guess you could say or you can play around with this size also and that kind of thing it's gonna add it make it really even more crazy but um uh, i'm a little bit lost where is it? what i want to do oh it's i think here yeah there it goes so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the center z in the layout section here on our text note and we're gonna create a keyframe here for frame 11 one after the glitch starts to move and we're gonna create a keyframe here at center z and we're gonna go back to let's say frame 5 and we're gonna make this one smaller so it's gonna come from like behind us behind our screen i guess and then when we animate it let's see how that looks you can also make it come from the side or whatever you want right yeah and that's a little quick you can also add just the spline here and if you want to make it a little bit smooth or whatever you can play around with these settings we're gonna check how that looks with that and yeah so that is pretty much how you do this glitch effect and if you want to use these in another image or like a video or anything else just go ahead and copy and paste these and we're gonna go back to our timeline and we can drag this fusion composition let it render right there and we're gonna drag our traffic lapse here which is this video right here right so we're gonna go with it selected we're gonna go to fusion and in fusion we're simply gonna paste this here and we're gonna put this right in between like that and now let's see how that looks it looks a little bit crazy right now because we have this one set at normal right so we're gonna go back one frame to fix this set it all the way back to the default zero and that is how you add the same effect onto a video that you want to use on and yeah that is pretty much it um how you do that there's also another similar effect that you can use another which is another note which is called the vector distortion and it does pretty much the same thing as the displacement note it just adds it just acts in a little bit different way and you can change the settings in a little bit of different way if you would like me to make a video on the vector distortion let me know down below but yeah that is pretty much how you make this easy glitch effect for your titles videos or anything the else that you would want to use it on. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in the next video here in Swahili.